Good morning. Who were the rightful managers of God's vineyard? Today, looking at Mark chapter 12, verses 1 to 12. Then he began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard and set a hedge around it, dug a place for the wine vat, and built a tower. And he leased it to vine dressers and went into a far country. Now at vintage time he sent a servant to the vine dressers that he might receive some of the fruit of the vineyard from the vine dressers. And they took him and beat him and sent him away empty handed. Again he sent them another servant, and at him they threw stones, wounded him in the head, and sent him away shamefully treated. And again he sent another, and him they killed, and many others, beating some and killing some. Therefore, still having one son, his beloved, they, he also sent him to them last, saying, They will respect my son. But these vine dressers said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they took him and killed him and cast him out of the vineyard. Therefore, what will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the vine dressers and give the vineyard to others. Have you not heard, even read this scripture? The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And they sought to lay hands on him, but feared the multitude, for they knew he had spoken the parable against them. So they left him and went away. Now men sometimes lose sight of the facts. The church belongs to God. It's not a place where we can get together, we all get together, and we get to vote what the reality is, vote what the teaching's going to be. Uh, the teachings we find are, are in God's Word. We look for the revelation that God has made, and then we understand what His teachings are. And that The church has to follow the Word of God. Another place that we see this is in evangelism. Many times we begin to think, well, evangelism is, is somehow is just a, a human work, or God's left it to us, you know, do whatever you want, whatever works, that's fine, be pragmatic. I'll just bless it, have a nice day. That's not God's approach. We need to, again, go by the Word of God, and that'll help us to understand what our work is, how our work works, and winning souls. And so we can't just make it up as we go or just use common human methods. We need to find out what God's plan for evangelism is. So these are critical things. If we're going to be truly Christian, we need to follow the Word of Christ, and here it is. The, lo the long patience of the vineyard owner, the, his long mercy toward them, they're, they're disregarding it. Now they're going to kill Jesus, the Son, the one and only Son of the Father. So now with Jesus' ministry almost completely over, he is uh, willing to fully expose the illegitimacy of these vineyard, these managers of the vineyard. And he's, going to, he's doing that right here. He's beginning to expose it, put it into the open. It's so easy for people to just follow along and follow the religious authorities over and over and over and over relentlessly. Uh, it's hard sometimes to change. And so Jesus is setting the path, because they're going to need to choose. Is Jesus Messiah, or was he just a, a bad guy that got crucified? They've got to make that decision. So Jesus is, is now taking down the religious authorities all the way. It's really quite amazing how long corrupt religious leaders are tolerated. But in the end, in the end, it's going to be a bad day for them. Let's be careful and make sure that we're following God's true managers of his vineyard. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your watch care over your vineyard. You never did forget your vineyard. You never stopped being merciful and kind. You never stopped sending people to come because you will take back your vineyard. And so, Lord, help us. Help us to be right. Help us to be careful. Help us to go according to your word and make our, make our evaluations based on the Bible so that we know that we're in your vineyard and we're managing it the way you would have us to manage it. Please bless us in this way, Lord. We ask for this help. In Jesus' name, amen. Is the congregation where you worship, worshiping according to the plan for, that is given by the owner of the vineyard? I know, I know all your friends are there and you've been there a long time, uh, but we want our congregations to be places where God's Spirit can bless. So we need to sometimes check. Remember, corrupt leaders are sometimes very long tolerated. Lord, help your local congregation to be on track. Show each one, maybe the one watching this video, Show them what they can do to help the church be in the right place. Maybe you need to find a church that's keeping the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. More like the vineyard owner says. So let hearts be drawn to Jesus and let's be committed to him, the vineyard owner, the true owner, no matter how much it costs. God be with you today.